G'day everyone and welcome back to another video and we are going to bring it back with another compilation video to finish the end of the home and away season and in this compilation video I'll be going over each team's highest and lowest scores of the 2020 season. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and let's just get straight into it. In he comes, siren sounds and the drought breaks. First ever win for Matthew Nix. As an AFL coach, first win for 2020 for the Crows. A moment they'll never forget. Chaos ball might work for Sexton or Swallow or Weller. Got a kick around the body. Well, count it. On the Gold Coast Suns' first ever win against the Adelaide Crows. A history-making moment. Speak about consistent players. He's had an equally good night. That was his... 36 possession as well, so the midfielders have dominated tonight. And it's the Brisbane Lions who sneak into second on the ladder. The J-Cats, six goals, and five games coming in tonight. That looks pretty decent as well. His second goal of the night. Eddie takes his time. He's got three goals, one so far. Couple of skip steps. There's a new hero in town. The new blue, the same old blue that they've always loved, that the footy world loves. Eddie Betts has done it again. A four goal night, and the Blues have broken through the ton. A long, long way from their best for three of the quarters, BT, but when it matters, when the final siren sounds, they are in front. Takos gets another. And you hear it crisply off his boot. If you're a Pies fan, you're happy. 52-point winners, Collingwood over the Western Bulldogs. An away win on a Friday night against the Dogs. They'll hear no cheers. But the Black and White Army season has begun just as they hoped it would. Maynard has played her for most of the match. Mark Collingwood. Zane Scott back, please. Kick just one behind in that last quarter, Brisbane. And have a look at this. A Brisbane Lions crowd tonight. 16,000 of them lapping it up with a grand final to come on October the 24th. To win out of the middle, they can't. Instead, it's Langford thrusting it forward. It might just fall for Joe again. He's kicked oh. another one! Where you been? This is a different Essendon side when Joe's up forward. So the final seconds tick down. An astonishing comeback from the Bombers. From six goals down, they win by 16 points. He's given them that elite midfielder, absolute elite, hasn't he? And well done by the young He's going to kick a second. Oh, no, he's not. Cameron's going to get four. With him, Walters knew where it was bouncing. Pokes it long. Brilliant. Hogan thought about playing on. And we'll go back and have a crack. Oh, he's play. Opens it up. Easy as you like. So wrong! So right! <laughs> He's put it through! Oh no! So the siren sounds on one of the dampest nights of football. It rained from start to finish and Geelong dominated for most of that time. Townsend, Townsend picks up, gets up, kicks the goal! A little glimmer of hope like back-to-back -back goals for the Bombers. They would choose the Gabba. Yeah. So they were impressive today. It happened so quickly. Geelong keep on marching on. So the dying seconds. And Geelong lose for the first time this year in Queensland. Martin had a big one. And Jack kicked four. To Holman. That's 50. 50. Yeah. In game number 50. Might have been his birthday today, the great DK Lilly. Holman from directly in front to celebrate his 50th, and he does. It's 
It's a good build up, BT. To Cottrell, who banged it inside 50 to Mackay. Knocked down, picked up by Miller. Siren sounds. First Friday night footy played in Darwin at TIO. And he sits it over the top for Toby Green, who gets goal side again. <laughs> he can sniff it, Toby. <laughs> Goes the way of the veteran Harry Taylor. Siren about to sound. And it will be the GWS Giants open their account with a 32 point win. Giants Stadium in Sydney. O'Reardon floats it wide, but forget the Giants. The story is the Sydney Swans. A masterclass from John Longmire and his young Swans. Seconds might beat them here. O'Meara goes back to Mitchell. Sounds. It hasn't been a perfect season, but it's been a perfect way to honour two retiring champions. Little dummy as well. Now the right foot kick with good penetration on the head of Cox. He was occupied by Frawley in the wrestle and Hoskin Elliott to the rescue. to enjoy this one as they work along the line is their time for one last they've already kicked four in the last quarter there'll be no more but they have delivered plenty and hopes are high now for melbourne fans so milksham low touched is the call so it's a minor score only in port adelaide dominant from the get-go they're on top of the table and they leave comprehensive winners. 12-11, 4-8, the margin 51. Davies Uniac hits the pack front and square beautifully and waltzes through and puts it right through the middle with his left foot. That was beautiful football, well played. I opened up a 23 point lead at quarter time and they've never looked back. And they've broken the drought. North Melbourne after six losses in a row. A huge win with the biggest score picked by any team in 2020. Hold them in really good stead as Simpkin, he's a warrior, continues to battle. McIntosh, Bolton and Rewalt. <laughs> with a couple of them, I think it might have been you kidding yourself. Dixon got rid of his direct opponent and he bends it through. Big Charlie. Monday night, Port Adelaide on a Friday night, both of them in the top couple. This has been an outstanding win for Geelong. They make their mark off the back of that man Hawkins and that man Dangerfield. A little bit, but still a good win. So Bolton off a step, belting it forward. Doherty trying to hold Rioli up, and Rioli's <laughs> taken them both on. And we've seen Rioli's do this before at the MCG. Walls is in and puts some cream on the cake, doesn't he? Particularly if Papley can kick the Swans third and his second. And he does, and it's just eight points at the Gabba. And thoroughly deserved in different difficult conditions today. They looked quick and sharp early. Marvio Charles says well done to his teammates, likewise Pickett. And a short pass to Parker, who thinks he's the best chance by just a couple of quick steps and then delivering. He wasn't far. One goal, two today. It's been well clamped. And the siren sounds. And the Saints continue to be a must-watch team in 2020. This is Jack Stephen again. His kick is to the hot spot. Rowan! Well, he deserves to have the full stop on the game. Rowan can put it through. He comes in from directly in front and does exactly that. An emphatic victory for Geelong against St Kilda tonight. Taylor Walker, does he have the shot? The clock ticks down to 24 seconds. This kick is big in every way, but it fades. It fades to the right. Oh. The time has run out for the...
Civic Steel and the Swans instead have beaten the Crows. Listen to the crowd when he starts his stutter. <laughs> they will start the roar. It's hilarious. The siren will sound. The crowd get behind Rory Lobb because they weren't sure where it was going to go. Neither was he. In the end, the game comes to a close. It's the Dower Dockers defence that's paved the way for victory. Really does, PT, and let's hope Kelly doesn't miss a thing here. What a day he's having. They beat every club the way they're playing at the present time. West off a little front on contact, cop one to the face, but the seconds will tick down, and Port Adelaide have come to the half with one intention. Anytime, anyone, anywhere, anyhow. We're up for the fight. 13 11 89 to 6 5 41. That's about right. I'm not here to argue with Jono and the Western Bulldogs. <laughs> they get the percentage booster thereafter. They square the ledger at 6 and 6, the Western Bulldogs. Adelaide Crows, their tough season continues now 0 and 12. But Bontempelli and Co. put on a masterclass today. If you're a Pies fan, you're happy. 52-point winners, Collingwood over the Western Bulldogs. An away win on a Friday night against the Dogs. They'll hear no cheers, but the Black and White Army season has begun just as they hoped it would.